You, okay, so what do you think about Prophet Muhammad's people? Well, I don't believe he's a prophet. So, okay, so you do against, because we believe he's No, I'm not prophet. against Muslims. Okay. I'm just against Islam. There's a difference. I'm not against you. The so reason why I want to talk to you is because I'm for you. I want you to find the truth. Your Quran, your Quran is saying, your Quran is saying that the the Quran is saying that the the Torah and the Injil yeah. of Muhammad's time is confirmed. The Torah at the time of Moses and the Bible. No, 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 no. Jesus. It doesn't say that in your Quran. Look at what your Quran says. Says at the time of Muhammad. Shall I show you? Because that's what your Quran says. And the thing is, you know how you know how Muslims accuse Christians of distorting what the Bible teaches. It's actually Muslims that are distorting what the Quran teaches. I have to look more into this. Well, let me show you. Let me show you. I'm going to show you. You seem to be running. What are you afraid of? We know you. We know you. I don't know you. And I don't. So, so if a man if a man makes a false accusation, he's got to prove it. Yeah, no, we've seen you on YouTube. So, so let him let him prove his accusation. When you insult all I've said about your prophet is what your books say about your prophet. What what did I say to him? What what did I say about him? So let let's come to what your Quran says. Go back to it. Yeah. I don't know now. I'm just. Show you one to. verse. Then. Let me show you one There's verse. There's no need. There's yeah. no need. No, there is a need because your imams are lying to you. They're not showing you what the Quran teaches. Yes, your imams are lying to you. Yeah. Look, I only came here today. We need to learn. We're not here to. I'm here to learn too. Big point. I want to say look. We're here to learn because people that is very honest. Yeah. The point is, if you're here to learn, then there has to be some like manners and all this. Absolutely. And look, if I don't know, then I'm saying I don't know. Well, that's fine. So. And if so I'm going to show you. Know, you say you don't know. No, that's I'm not saying I don't know. I'm saying I do know. No, no. In general, in a certain matter, yeah. if you don't know, you don't speak without well, knowledge. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. So let me show so you I'm what I do speak know. If I don't know. Let, let me let me show you what I do know. Okay. And if you're certain you do know, then you have to be fair. I have to be fair, and I have to show you evidence. If I yes. make a claim you about your book, evidence, agreed. If I don't show evidence, then yes. then I have I have failed uh, as a, an interlocutor. Yes. It's not that you failed. It's just about learning the yeah. truth. Exactly. Yeah. So let, let, let me show you what uh, what I mean in your Quran. Yeah. Now the, the thing is, you you you, you can either investigate truth or you can allow other people to be manipulative and to pull you away from learning so right so let me so my claim is that the quran is very clear that the the injil and the torah he just why are you being rude why are you being rude you disrespect the prophet no you why are you being rude i'm having a decent conversation is it true you disrespect the prophet no i i just quote to muslims what your own books say about muhammad so for example that he is he has married a child and that he had sex with a child it doesn't say that in sahih al-bukhari it does no 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 yes it does do you want me to show you? In the Quran, that's, that's hadith. Do you reject the hadith? Well, you're supporting it's his not, content I like didn't this, say okay? that. I said, first of all, you said in the Quran, right? Okay. In the Quran, it doesn't say that he married a child. Right. Let, okay, and first of all, a child, Aisha radiallahu anha, was not a child. I want to uh, come back to the original conversation. Uh, okay. he, he was just throwing know, out know, tropes. But, okay. So let, let's come back to what he actually says in the Quran. In Surah 543, let's go there. Right. I don't know. Have you got a Quran on you? Do you want to pull up your Quran? I got my phone. Okay. Pull up Surah 543. Okay. My hands are a bit numb. Forgive me. It was there in the seventh century, doesn't yeah, it? We don't. We don't deny the Torah. Right. It's so the, the Torah has been changed throughout time. Right, but that what but my argument to you is that the Torah was there in the seventh century and the Quran affirms that the Torah was there in the seventh century. Do you agree that the Quran is stating that the Torah was there in the seventh century? The seventh? The seventh century. Muhammad was in the seventh century, right? Yes? Over a thousand four hundred years ago. Yeah, one thousand four hundred years ago, Muhammad was speaking to some Jews and Allah says that they've got the Torah with them. I don't know. I right. don't speak with them. Okay, now. so so but so anyway, going back so, to the, so, I do know about what you were saying, sorry to cut you off. But about the child you said No, I am not interested in that conversation. I, I know, want to talk but about you this. It up, you no, know? I didn't. You no, said, I didn't. But you, he brought it up. I know, but you're no. you're claiming that he I want, married a child. I want to stick on this topic. 
I want to stick on this topic. I don't know about this. I'm right. not going to speak without knowledge. So, so, so that's fine. Let, I know about... Then let me show you what I know. No, I don't need to know. You know, I'd rather go to people I trust. You know, right. Obviously. So that's fine. But, but what we've got here is in the Quran, it's saying that the Torah was there in the 7th century. Now, the point is, bro, if you just do 10 minutes worth of investigation, you'll realize that we have copies of the Torah from the 7th century. We have yeah, like seven said, century yeah, copies rather, of the Torah. I'd rather speak about something I do know instead of from something different I don't. places I know, I know, at different times. So I know what you're saying. You're saying, but me as a person, I want to speak about something I do know instead of something. Right. I well, don't I, know. I, I like I don't know where you get your information. It's probably I know you're against Muslims. And I, no, I'm not against in, Muslims. I, obviously That's you wrong. Do. You, okay, so what do you think about Prophet Muhammad? I don't believe he's a prophet. So, okay, so you do against, because we believe he's No, I'm not against Muslims. Okay. I'm just against Islam. There's a difference. I'm not against you. The so, reason why I want to talk to you is because I'm for you. I want you to find the truth. That's not being against you. Okay, so let's go to the main purpose of so, the truth. Shall I tell you the real reason why I reject Islam? Okay, what's the real reason? Because the, the, the Quran states that the Torah was there in the 7th century. And if the Torah is there in the 7th century, then it hasn't been changed. And if it, was, and if it hasn't been changed, well, the Torah contradicts is, the Quran. Okay, it's very, okay. See, we don't have the Torah today. How do you know? We don't have it. How do you know? Because we don't have uh, There's a verse in uh, Surah Ma'idah. Right, go on. It says... Uh, uh, Let's let's pull up that verse. Because my point anyway, is, my point is, Muslims say things like we don't have the Injil, we don't have the Torah, but none of them have anyway, actually investigated any of those claims. Angel, anyway, we have the Quran, so the Quran is that's what we have. You know? But if the Torah was there in the seventh century, and we know what the Torah looked like in the seventh century, that means that it has been preserved. And if it has been preserved, it contradicts the Quran. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. But what does Quran say? Quran say we believe, worship, you know, one God, one of you. Right. Yeah. Well, where's your verse that says that the? Uh, like show me, said, a, show me a verse that says the Torah has been lost. No, I don't have. That. Show me a verse anyway, that says the Torah has been changed. Anyway, I don't have knowledge about this, man. But I do want to speak about you saying the Aisha radiallahu was a child. Okay, what's a child? A child. A difference between a child and uh, adult is that. Why the Prophet, peace be upon him, married uh, Aisha? Because she was uh, ready. That's to... not my question. My question is, what is a I know child? What I'm saying. You're no, saying, you hey, wanted you to think, talk about this topic. What that, is a child? No, I'm getting to it. No, okay. what is a child? That's the question. Child, what is a child? Is a What's the difference between you, biologically, and a child, biologically? Biolog I don't know. To be honest with you, it's that. A child to you thinks that it's a little kid, am I right? No, no. So the difference between you and a child is not only do you have testes developed that are producing sperm, right? And testosterone flowing through your blood and a whole bunch of other chemicals. You also have what's called frontal lobe development. Now, do you know what frontal lobe development is? Do you know what frontal lobe development allows you to do? Anyway, that's not the topic. No, the it topic is the topic. Is the topic she was is... Ready, she was the spiritually topics? ready, How do you mentally know? and How do you know? How do you know? Because the uh, Prophet, peace be upon him... How do you know? Uh, you, you know, actually, we're against... You, okay, see, you live in this generation. generation. No, no, yes, no, no. Hold on one second. First of all, 1,400 What years is a ago, child? A child is just a little kid that's not physically ready. Yes, mentally ready. brilliant. So, but when does frontal lobe development begin? Anyway, man, when does no, frontal lobe development begin? I'm not going to speak. Where it's just when when, do, when does frontal lobe development begin? I don't know, man. Does it begin at six? Uh, like I said, uh, you I'm don't know. You see, you don't know. The point is, you come out with uh, these words like Muhammad, Aisha wasn't a child, but you don't even know what a child is. Okay. And you don't know when frontal lobe development begins. And I am telling you as a fact, as a fact, my friend, six-year-olds do not have frontal lobe development. They do think. not have frontal lobe development. I mean, that's your opinion, you know? That's a fact, bro. That's go. Your... If I'm wrong, go away and prove it. 
go away and prove it. I challenge you. Go away and find the study that says a child has frontal lobe development. I mean, look, you know, like you, as a, as a Muslim, if you have a problem with... If you don't have frontal lobe development, if you don't... No, no, but we're not even having a conversation. You're just, you're just coming out with tropes and you're ignoring what I'm saying and you're not engaging with what I'm saying. So this is not okay, a conversation. Okay, but look, look, look. No, no, no. You have, no. A, you have a... What is... What, what does frontal have, lobe development allow you to look, do? Look, look, you have a problem with... You think that it's wrong that... A man, if you, you I know, think it is wrong is that a 54-year-old man okay. married a six-year-old child and had sex with a nine-year-old child. Yes, that is wrong. Okay, but you, There's a word for it. What's okay, that word? You, as, What's the word? For when a 50-year-old, no, no, okay, 4-year-old man okay, has sex with a nine-year-old child. What's the word okay, for it? If you're going to go there and think that's wrong, in your opinion... It is wrong, yes. Okay, why do you believe the creator of the heavens and earth was a little baby? Right. If you think that, like, we can go there. You so know? you said that you wanted to talk about... I wanted to talk about what the Quran says about the Torah. Okay, you insisted... First you you insisted that we change the topic. Now I'm engaging you on the topic or that you chose. Now you want to change the topic again. All you're doing is jumping from topic to topic and you're not investigating any of the claims that you're making. The lies that you believe have been disproven by facts, my friend, by facts. Fact. I mean, me, Children at six I, don't have frontal lobe development. Children at six cannot consent to marriage. Okay, for a, for a nikah to be legal in Sharia law, for a nikah to be legal in Sharia law, must there be consent? That's what you think. I'm asking you. For a marriage to be legal in Sharia law, must there be consent? I mean, as a Muslim. Answer that question. Huh? Why you see you're not even listening? This is what I mean. It's not because a conversation. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. All he's got is a bunch of catchphrases. And once his catchphrases have been tested, he's got nothing to say. Nothing. Well, I mean, the, 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 the people are hearing you not give any evidence, bro. Answer it. I mean, can a, how can I answer a man who believes God's a baby? You see, I mean, he's ignoring the question. The reality is, the reality is, there we go. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, what we've got here is the Muslims claim that the Bible has been lost. Muslims claim that the Bible has been changed. But when we challenge them and what their own Quran says about the Bible, we see that the Bible is there in the seventh century. And if it was there according to the testimony of the Quran in the seventh century, then that means we know what it looks like. Why? because we have manuscripts of the Bible from the 7th century so we can go to those manuscripts and see what it looks like. And do you know what it looks like, brothers and sisters? It looks like our Bible today, which means that the Muslim Imams are lying to Muslims when they say that the Bible has been lost. And I challenged the Muslims on that and he said, no, 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 I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about Aisha, Aisha, the wife, the child bride of Muhammad. And he, they was arguing that Maha Aisha was physically and mentally able to marry. What utter b Six year old girls do not have frontal lobe development. Six year old girls cannot consent to marriage. When Muhammad married a six-year-old girl, it was impossible for her to consent. That is why across the Islamic world, child marriage is continuing today. Because their best example married a six-year-old. But it gets worse, so much worse. He didn't just marry a six-year-old, he had sex with her when she was nine years old. There is no such thing as a nine-year-old woman. It does not exist. It has never existed at any time in history. The logic of the Muslims is if you bleed, you can breed. That is a fallacious logic. Aisha was not a woman. She was a child. No, 
why is it a problem? After all, didn't Christian kings marry children? Yes, they did. But we don't say that those kings are an example for us today. We don't say that those kings are the best example for us today. But Muslim after Muslim after Muslim will tell you Muhammad is the best example. So when he married a six-year-old and when he had sex with a nine-year-old, he was the best example on how to marry a six-year-old and how to have sex with a nine-year-old. And that's It's rubbish. Christianity is something different. It allows a different kind of ethical learning that can develop with other forms of learning. So as the Christian world came to understand more about childhood development, Christians rejected marrying and having sex with children. That is the power of the Christian ethical system, is that it can change with other forms of knowledge. But, Christ, but Islam, by comparison, must insist that Muhammad is the best example. So he is the best example on how to marry six-year-olds, and he is the best example on how to have sex with nine-year-olds. That is a license for paedophilia. And that is why we see child marriages continue across the Islamic world and what created the milieu in which thousands of girls in the north of England were sexually abused by Muslim grooming gangs. We can do better than Muhammad and that better example is Jesus Christ. And if you want to see the difference, then do what I did and pick up a gospel and learn about who Jesus Christ is and why Christianity offers the West better guidance than Islam. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Any questions? Yeah, you said, yeah, when um, Christian believes the ethics changed in terms of when to, um, like, uh, they, because they were married maybe young people before, but yeah. changed. What was the process of when did this happen? Right. The brother asks a good question. He says, what is, what is the basis by which Christian ethics can change? The argument that the Muslims make is if you change your ethics, <coughs> somehow your religion is subjective and relative. That's the argument. However, it's rubbish because they don't understand ethics. Ethics is the practice of morality and values. Christian morality and values do not change, but the ethical practice of them does. And why does the ethical practice of them does? Because technology changes the way we live. There was never an ethical question about whether we're littering space until we invented rockets that could take us to space. The ethical question of nuclear weapons was never asked until someone developed the nuclear weapon. But the morality that Christ gives to us when he says that he who causes one of these children to stumble, it is better that a stone be tied around his neck and that he be cast into the sea, is what guides the Christian understanding of sexual ethics and children. So in other words, we shouldn't harm children. Sex with children harms them mentally and physically. Islam cannot condemn sex with children because their best example is the best example on how to marry a six-year-old. And their best example is the best example on how to have sex with a nine-year-old. Christianity teaches, 
don't harm children. So when we learn that marrying six-year-olds is harmful and having sex with nine-year-olds is harmful, the Christian can change their ethical practice. Islam cannot. And that is why Christianity is better guidance than Islam. Any other questions? Going once, going twice, going three times. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. If you want, I'll do another talk, but it's up to you. Would you like me to do another talk? Okay, guys, I'm going to stand up by that railings for my next talk. If you want to listen to the next talk, please come and join me over there.